So I'm gonna try to get the top off of here before we start looking at all the items. And then we're gonna do something like this without them falling out, hopefully. I paid $312 for this bad boy. We got a lot of cakes, a lot of cool shells. So let's get everything unboxed and shoot it all off. All right, so as you can see, we have nine 350 gram, maybe 200 gram cakes. Uh, these look pretty large, so I'm gonna guess they're 350 gram. Let's hope we don't cause a chain reaction here and everything fall out at once. But the first one here, we have a lot of presidential themed cakes. So as you can see, everything in this assortment is very patriotic in how it's packaged. This is the Great American Fireworks Company, and that is a Superior Fireworks in-house brand. So as you can see, there's a lot of cool stuff going on on the side of the box here. So I'm gonna try to show you each one of these cakes. There's your performance on Washington. Uh, now let's pull out Jefferson here without the shells coming with it. Uh, so this one here, there's your performance. And there's a little quote on the side of the box. This next one here is called Adams. And one thing you'll notice is every one of them says big breaks, 12 shots. So there's that one, there's your performance. And do we get a quote on here? We sure do. So for the rest of the unboxing, I'm gonna go from here over because I don't want anything tipping out. Uh, this one here is called Premium Artillery Shells. Check it out. So these are just ball shells in there, 175 in diameter. And it looks like for the first time, we have real effect photos on the side of the box. So that definitely says something about quality. And yeah, you do pay a little more for a kit like this. Like I said, it's 300 bucks. But again, look at the quality of these firework items. As you know, I'm a big fan of canister shells. So I was really intrigued by seeing canister shells in an assortment pack like this, because normally you just get ball shells in all these kits. I believe these are four inch cans. And check it out, you get six different effects, 12 pieces. These are definitely real photos of what they do. Cannot wait to see these shells in action. And these two items are definitely favorites of mine. As you can see, this one here is 50 shots and this one here is 30. Can't wait to see what these do. Moving on down, we got a couple of what looks like 200 gram cakes. I've actually seen these before. So this one here is called American Heartland. It's a 10 shot, 200 gram cake. So it is a 200 gram, but it's pretty heavy. So you could totally call this a 350 gram cake, I believe. And uh, yeah, check it out, there's your performance. I have lit this one off before and it's pretty loud. These cylindrical style cakes are always very loud if you can find them. This one here, it looks like another 200 gram, 15 shots. There's your performance right there. That one is old glory. And last but not least for the cylindrical cakes, we have one more 200 gram. It's another 10 shot cake called Declaration of Independence. And there's your performance right there on the front. We're gonna get all these cakes set up when it gets darker and shoot them off. As you can see, we have two 50 strips of firecrackers here. Definitely one of my favorites. And then over here, we have our last row of presidential cakes, part of the Founders series. This is Hamilton, and you can see the performance right there, along with a quote right there on the side. All six of these cakes feature 12 shots, so that's why I'm not listing the shot count each time. But here we've got Franklin, and you can see the performance there, along with a quote right there on the side. Last cake in the Founder series is called Henry, and there is your performance, along with a quote there on the side, just like the rest of the cakes. And I'm pretty excited to see these. Let's actually cut into one real quick and see what we got. So cutting this one open, let's just take a look at the bore size is really what I wanna see. Yeah, so we definitely do have some very large shells in there. They come up about three quarters of the way up to the top of the tube. So these are definitely gonna be hard hitting cakes. Now, I haven't decided whether or not I'm gonna fuse these up or fire them one at a time in the tube that they came with because it rained the other day. So my racks might have a little bit of water in them, but I'm gonna check it out and when I make a decision on that, I'll get right back to you. So as you can see, I'm just working on getting all the cakes set up and on these premium shells, I decided to fire them one at a time using the tube that the kit came with. I got all the fuses pre-ready. And of course this box is not gonna be here when we're lighting them off. And on the 12 canister shells, I decided to fuse them all up in a rack. And look at that beautiful sunset off in the distance. And now we're just waiting for it to get a little darker out and we can shoot all this off for you. All right, guys, it's dark enough to start shooting off the fireworks. And I think we're gonna go ahead and start with the premium artillery shells. I am repurposing the two fiberglass tubes from the canister shell kit over here. So we don't have to be loading these in the same tube before the last one has time to cool down. Wow, those are true ball shells if I've ever seen them. And I love that rising tail. Nice, perfectly symmetrical break. Oh, wow. Look at that. 
Wish you guys were here with me so you could hear how loud these are. Perfect. I love that delayed crackle. It makes the shell look way bigger. That was a nice yellow. Whoa, color changing. Nice, another color changer. Whoa, it's got a huge vine. Oh man, I should have got way further back. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, I'm like right up in this thing. <laughs> Holy cow. I have lit that off before, but I forgot how big it was. Massive breaks. Wow, even further back, this is kind of tough. Gorgeous kicks. Look at that. Nice, look at that willow still hanging there. That was a gorgeous rising effect. Look at that. Oh man. I love that lace on there, wow, in every shot. I hope the finale is like a triple lace. You just hit the camera. Oh, there we go. There's that triple ace. Yeah, clay plug just hit the camera. <laughs> I don't know if you could see that. Wow. I did not think these cakes were gonna be this good. Those get way up there too. Man, that's like the fireworks standard right there. Check that out. It goes super high. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's gotta be like 300 feet. Maybe a little more. Wow, look at that. That is one of the best 200 gram cakes I've seen in a long time. Oh my God, that had a blue mine. These are just breaking super big. Each shot has a blue line. Wow. Look at that. Out of a 200 gram cake, you're kidding me. Oh my goodness. That's it right there, wow. Look at that, it looks like stars. Unbelievable hang time. This one better have some green effects, some red, white, and blue or something. Oh, look at that. Look at that rising tail. This is probably some of the best consumer you can get. These guys don't sponsor me either, so they're not paying me to say that. I bought this with my own money. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh, you gotta, you gotta see this, check this out. Look at that, it's like a lace mine.
love that red. Beautiful cake. Wow. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I think I found my new favorite firework assortment. So check it out. We did all the cakes, all the ball shells. The only thing left is the 12 canister shells. Oh my God. Big breaks. Look at some of the gold in there, look at that. Unbelievable. So I just had to come on here and say this. It takes a lot to impress me, especially when it comes to firework assortments. And these cakes here, I would put up against 500 gram cakes. That's how good they performed. Again, the assortment was $300. Would I like to pay that again? Probably not. Uh, but if you could nab this assortment for 200, maybe 250 bucks, this is probably the best firework assortment that I've ever had. 